The first COVID-19 vaccine approval for children ages 5 to 11 could take a major step forward today when an FDA advisory committee meets to discuss the Pfizer vaccine for children. ABC's Faith Abube shows us when children could start getting their shots. This morning, the White House ready to ship out 65 million pediatric doses of Pfizer's COVID vaccine across the country, anticipating federal regulators will approve the shots for kids ages 5 to 11, starting with the FDA advisory panel today. I'm looking for a good outcome from the FDA meeting today. Medical experts also urging parents to begin requesting vaccination appointments for their kids. I don't think it's too soon to, to call up and, and, and get in line. Moms like Chris Erickson. You want to go back to school? I go back to school. Whose 10-year-old son Bentley has been homebound due to a complex medical condition eager to get him the shots. He has not played with his friends um, since February of 2020, um, and he would do just about anything to be able to go out on the playground again. If the FDA greenlights the Pfizer vaccine for children, the CDC will also need to sign off before the shots are rolled out. Pfizer says trial data shows one third of its adult doses is nearly 91 percent effective against symptomatic illness in children. Barring any hiccups, both federal agencies are expected to approve the small dose vaccine. As pediatricians who care for these kids, we want to find a solution and it is a miracle that we potentially have one. But a Kaiser Family Foundation survey finds that about a third of parents with potentially eligible children are hesitant about letting them get the shots. I'm hoping that this meeting um, with the FDA will really help to provide that um, the evidence that it is um, safe. Meanwhile, pushback over vaccine requirements continues in New York City. Thousands of city workers marching across the Brooklyn Bridge in protest of the city's COVID vaccine mandate. And back to kids and the vaccines. Moderna says its pediatric shot is also highly effective in kids, but the company is still weeks away from authorization. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.